Um, I actually came to know about self help graphics when I was in college at UC Santa Cruz. And there was the first ever Califas show, which was a show of artists from up and down California, San Diego to Sacramento and San Francisco, um, Los Angeles, Santa Barbara, Fresno, all over California. And it was, um, I was very interested in, in really finding out more about where these artists came from. And when I was told that there was an art cultural, a cultural center, an art studio in East Los Angeles, I was really, really surprised because I had never heard of it. And um, so when I came back to Los Angeles, I, I looked into it. I found self-help graphics and one of my friends who had, I had uh, gotten to know the summer before my second year of school, was Harry Gamboa Jr. and he was having his first um, solo exhibit there, a photography exhibit. And several people that were in the show as his models were at the show for the celebration. And so I got to meet a whole lot of people including Gronk and um, Patsy Valdez and Armando Norte who became my husband. Um, Maricela Norte, uh, just all these different people that Diane Gamboa, um, Linda Gamboa. So as I started to get to know everybody, uh, there was a huge uh, Chicano punk rock scene and Los Amigos had their studio down below where is it's now, it used to be the principal gallery up until about a year and a half ago uh, where Los Amigos had their studio or part of their studio. Um, and so I got to meet them and um, eventually we, I started working with Sister Karen um, because they did not have a gallery curator and I offered to be the gallery curator. And Marisa Leal, who was, um, had been, she had been interning, interning there for a college course from UC Santa Cruz, who I had met while I was a student there, she, she also co-curated the gallery with me. So we were the gallery directors of the gallery space that was much smaller at the time. And we decided we wanted to rename it, uh, so we tried different names. We tried, the one that stuck for us was New Directions Gallery but it didn't stick for, for anybody else. Uh, so we went back to Galeria Otra Vez and eventually it just everything dropped, all the names of the galleries dropped and it, they just, well the gallery was known as self -help graphics. That's, but I worked with Sister Karen probably from 1982 to 1985 and then I stopped working at the gallery because I got married and had a child and came back in 1989 to curate a Day of the Dead show because at, in 1988 there was a George Lopta, excuse me, George Yepes show and it was during, it was held during what was traditionally the Day of the Dead show and people were very disappointed and it, it, Day of the Dead celebration sort of um, disappeared for a couple of years there and when I went um, a lot of people were very disappointed in the show because it wasn't the Day of the Dead, it was just one person and it was not, there was only one art piece that was um, about or had a theme of Day of the Dead all the other ones were basically his work and his work is wonderful and there's nothing to take away from that but the celebration wasn't there uh, so I asked Sister Karen if I could come back in 1989 and be the guest curator and that's when the Day of the Dead uh, was, was reborn in, in the community.